Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Pocket Mirror. So, let's start exploring this room a little more. This pumpkin... Oh, it did speak last time, right? Asked if I was looking for something. And that one's still sleeping. Do you say anything? She's looking this way. Oh no, look away before you get turned into stone. Huh? Shh! Just pretend you're asleep or she'll get you. Um. Okay. My hand! Okay, I can't touch that, apparently. It's closed shut. The doorknob is stuck. Can I go here? No. So, I need to find a key of some sort? That's still sleeping. That does nothing. A big golden framed mirror hangs on the wall. Hmm. Blinded a sacrifice for those in dismay. Stolen by the just childish play. Right and left taken by the hand. A request is your demand. Okay. That's the same. A door just opened. But which one? This one. Or maybe both. What's in here? It's dark and there's... An eyeball floats in murky water sealed inside an old jar. And there's an eye on the floor. Oh, hello! I want to see it once more. See what? There was once a certain illusion I saw in a mirror I once knew so well. There were a pair of crimson-colored irises, accompanied by only their reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time they had stayed, staring directly at me, and no one but... me. All I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories, forged encounters, which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence. Recollections which didn't belong to me. In all honesty, who am I? To whom do these memories belong, I wonder? They are certainly not mine, and yet, here they dwell, inside this small room where I sit. Ever reminded of these fabricated crimson irises, which replayed once and again a thousand times has such a memory been showcased inside my small mind. And yet, I still can't reach any conclusion other than my complete existence has always been, and always will remain, controlled by those same eyes. Living in this small room, I remember a dream I once had, a tremendously vivid one. A red carpet had been laid before my feet, which guided me towards a single opening on a darkened wall, one that seemed to advance further and further with every step I took. In an instant, I was thrown into a world I did not know existed. On the other side of the gap, I found a reflection. My reflection. Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick braids, on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my cherry red eyes. Standing before me was a little girl, dressed in fancy, frilly clothing. Who was this person I had never seen? 
Could it be me? I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek. Such a gesture engraved itself onto my memory. The soft texture of my skin, the free and effortless movement I had made to raise my hand, made me realize I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me to a feeling of excitement which led, which led my imagination astray. I was... Not only was I real, I was alive. That little girl reflected on the mirror was me, and I could breathe and live. Life dwelled inside my body, and yet... As I turned my head to look outside, the same light which had peeked into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my old room where I stayed. Deprived of senses, deprived of a sensation I once knew as life, I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to live such a sad story yeah doctors have yet to find a way to successfully transplant an eyeball the optic nerve that connects the eye to the brain is too sensitive to be safely reconstructed okay Various dusty jars rest in the corner, each one carrying different colored eyeballs. Acquired pumpkin charm. What's a pumpkin charm? Two charms. No idea. Sounds like there's someone there. Pumpkin. An eye for an eye. An eyeball floats in murky water, sailing inside an old jar. In each jar floats half of an unusually big eyeball, staining the water with gelatinous flesh and blood. There's light this way. And it looks like there's a path this way. And it sounds like someone's... Is that someone crying? The window is so dirty the light barely gets through. Oh, it's a window. What's in there? I want to see the light once again. There's something in there. Can't I take this? And I can't go in there. Have I found everything in here? You're still sleeping. You're still pretending to sleep. And you're still saying nothing. So, can I go in here? I can. This place was nicer. Drawing is based upon perspective, which is nothing more than a thorough knowledge of the function of the eye. Aren't I smart? Rebirth, 1785. The painting of an elderly woman sur surrounded by thorns. 
fate, 1655. Grasping the dagger buried into her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea. Poor girl. A dim light overflows through the window. I wouldn't mind having my inside scooped out as long as I could become a yummy pumpkin pie. Okay. There are pumpkins everywhere. Satisfaction. A woman sits on the throne, wrapping her hands around an expressionless small child's neck. Pumpkin charm. So what do I need those for? The painting of a woman lying in bed surrounded by representations of death and demons. A girl joins her own two hands as her hair burns in crimson flames. The painting of an important looking female aristocrat surrounded by various young girls desperately cl clinging to her. Did you know pumpkin flowers are edible? I didn't know that actually. Why are you telling me that? Reunited in a golden room, various smiling women witnessed the murder of a newborn child by decapitation. Okay, such a horrible painting. I agree. Skeleton hands reach out to a lady dancing passionately amongst the flames. It's been painted over. Okay. A ghostly pale girl sits on a well-carved wooden chair wearing nothing but an airy white veil. Various women engage in a heated celebration, dancing over the corpses of numerous men. Are all these paintings of women? Grasping the dagger buried in her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea with a mischievous grin on her lips. So is that basic... Huh? I was just gonna say, is that basically the same painting as was... Early on in the room, but it looks not. Murky dark water drips endlessly from beneath the frame of the painting. Okay. Hello. Sisterly. The painting of a confident woman. Such a pretty lady. Oh, there was another one there. Hatred. The painting of a lady wearing an eye patch. She seems to be upset. There's nothing more there. Hey, little girl, get back here. A painting is calling me? Which one? Excuse me, miss? Yes? Could you please show me what you've got there? What should I do? Don't give her the pocket mirror. I'm sorry, but I can't let you have my pocket mirror. I see. It's all right then. I'm sorry to have troubled you. Though I would still love to take a closer look at that marvelous mirror of yours. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go save. It's locked. Thank you. 
I was gonna go save and then give her the mirror. But... This painting doesn't say anything. Have you changed your mind? Fine, you can look at it. Alright, just please be careful. <laughs> I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. No, please give it back. How far are you willing to go? I'll do anything. Just please give it back. How generous of you. I'll gladly take you up on that offer then. I'm sick and tired of being stared at. I command you to take that woman's left eye if you want to live. Resist and we shall take yours instead. What do I do? This woman's left eye? This woman... What that woman's left eye? I don't know what to do. Oh. I don't want to. So I'm not gonna. I better not. That... What's that? There's something on the floor. Can I get out of here? No. Do I have to? Fine. I'm so sorry. I don't see any other way to curse you, Annalise. I don't see any, any other way to get out of this room. Huh? Game over. Okay. That's odd. I'm just gonna go back and look at Oh. Look at everything because I did get um pumpkin seeds. Somewhere here. There. Oh, pum pumpkin charms. And I'm actually gonna try not to look at the pictures of the girls this time. Okay. I'm gonna try and see if I can leave this room without talking. If I don't... I can leave this room if I don't talk. If I don't look at the... Portraits of the girls. I'm gonna... Go in and see... Because now I've looked at everything. So, I'm gonna see if I can...
No, I don't want to. I want to see if I can just walk out. No, I can't. It's locked. All right, I'll go talk to you. If I don't give you the pocket mirror, then I still can't leave. No. If I do what you say, I can't leave now, no. If I do this, yes, so you keep telling me, and something's sounding very ominous, but if I take her eye. You are just going to give me a game over. What if I try to... Don't. I want to be able to get out. But... Fine. What if I quickly run? Oh, it froze. It froze. Oh, I've got to run. And the game froze up on me, so... I'm gonna try that one more time before calling it a day. See if I can get out. I need to look at these first. Oh, right, I need to walk away. Here we go. And 
we'll do this. I'm gonna be ready to run. Did I manage it? I did. Acquired a blue eyeball. Huh? Did I get my mirror back? No, I didn't. I need my mirror back. What happens if I try to go back in there? It's gotten dark, hasn't it? Now you've done it. Huh? The painting of an elderly woman surrounded by thorns as she bathes in a pool of dark crimson blood. Uh... You actually had the guts to rip out her eyeball. Consider me your number one fan. Okay. Anyone other of these changed? No. Sometimes the guilty ones are fortunate enough to walk away unscathed. Sanctification. The painting has been ripped apart. The lady who once sat there is no longer recognizable. I'm sorry. Serves her right. From now on, I'll always be number one. This can't be. Here, you can have your little toy back. Huh? Vain glory. A lady laughs at the top of her lungs, holding a blood-stained eye patch in her left hand. I don't want to stay here any longer. No, I don't either. I didn't have a choice, though. There was no other way I was getting out of that room after I talked to them. Can I do something with the eyeball in here? The pumpkin in here did say an eye for an eye, didn't it? There used to be a mirror in this room, though it shattered long ago. Did you know mirrors reflect light pretty well? If only there were enough shards. An eye for an eye. Oh. Are there oh. If I'm go out and go back in, is the shard back? Yeah. Do I need to get it up here? No. I need to get it up. Do I need to get it in front of the window? There we go. Something happened. Is 
there's supposed to be another shard somewhere what if I go back in no there's still just that one shard Can I break one of these jars? <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Will you talk to me now? Apparently not. So I need mirror shards. Or maybe... I just need one more mirror shard. Can't I just put down the mirror? This might work. There we go. Thank you, miss. Now I can finally give this back to you. A red eyeball. At last, we meet again. Huh? So I have a blue eyeball and a red eyeball. Better take it with me. Okay, so I have a red eyeball and a blue eyeball. Do I need them to get through here, perhaps? I don't know, but I'm gonna try that out next time. Uh, I'm gonna leave this off here. Uh, I hope all of you have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.